Hello everyone, welcome back again on TechTed.com. In this short video, we will talk about uh, the last 10 days which we have now. So uh, now basically it's uh, the time you're watching this video, it's less than 10 days, but okay. So we have just uh, less than 10 days remaining for gate and we have been working hard so far. So I just want to make sure that you are not deviating from your path in this last 10 days and you are maintaining some uh, or some important curriculum or some important uh, points in this these uh, 10 days okay so uh, what i'm going to talk about is the first point which is manage your schedule okay so uh, this point is very important if your exam has been scheduled early morning right so exams are being conducted in two batches on every day so it's first half which is from 9 a.m okay and this is second half which is from uh, 1 p.m right now if to get maximum throughput from uh, your study if you have been maintaining uh, your schedule which is deviating from one of this let's say if i consider an example uh, you have been studying so far uh, late night to uh, achieve maximum from a day but now it's time when at least for these remaining days you should change your schedule okay why i am saying this because let's imagine you have a habit of getting up at 10 a.m. every day, right? Because you are studying late, okay? Now, if your exam is falling under this category, that is if your exam has been scheduled in first half to reach to your, and it is, go, it is going to start at 9 a.m., right? So if it is 9 a.m., you need to reach to your uh, center at 8 a.m., okay? And to reach to your center at 8 a.m., I guess you'll have to start 7 a.m. in safer side. I'm just uh, taking an average time. Okay, it will be different, of course, for uh, all of you, depending upon the distance. But let's say 7 a.m. Now, to start from your home at 7 a.m., you need to uh, start getting up at at least 6.30, right? So if you have a habit of getting up at 10 a.m. and you are getting up at 6.30 on the day of exam, trust me, it's not going to be a good day for you. Okay, because your mind won't be able to work correctly. You have a habit of getting up late. Okay, your mind is like, uh, uh, I mean, not completely, you know, uh, peaceful. It's not has uh, taken a proper rest. So, your mind won't be functioning well and the whole years of preparation, whole years of uh, your effort will be wasted on this single day, which is very important, right? So as if your exam is falling under this first half, you should be very alert, start getting, at, uh, getting up at at least 6.30 or 7, okay? But not late, right? So this is very important for you. Now, second half, I think this is normal, but what I want to say is now you are getting, I guess, that you have to schedule your, uh, this entire thing, entire day curriculum according to the, this, this day, in which section or in which half of the day your exam is going to be happening, okay? So, this is very important I wanted to talk about. So, th that's why this is my first point. Now, Second point is revise all subjects every day, right? In this last 10 days, you cannot say that I'll study mathematics today, I won't study other subject today, or I'll study only operating system, or I'll study uh, two, three subjects, but not the rest, okay? My suggestion is revise all the subjects every day in this last remaining days. Now, when we say how to revise all the subjects, you have n number of notebook prepared so far. So, what you do is, I have been continuously talking about 
how you should be uh, preparing uh, uh, yourself for these uh, last remaining days okay so the first thing would be start solving your star marked question okay so star marked okay so everyone of you i expect you have uh, star marked some questions which you were not able to solve uh, in your first attempt or second attempt so start solving only those questions okay solve from each subject fine so this is one thing second is go through your short notes okay so go through your short notes every day right now what of course you can do is if you are a regular ticketed user you have you must have a habit of bookmarking the topic which you liked okay so you have an option to bookmark or to mark a topic or a chapter or a particular content as a favorite right so go through those favorite marked notes when i say notes it's individual content okay now what i strongly recommend is if you have not gone through this 45 days course on tiktok.com so in last 10 days i should at least you should you know revise twice these 45 days course because uh, if you are uh, aware of all the concepts uh, probably you can you know go through 10 uh, days topics in a day okay so this 45 days i would say revise 45 days for gate i i would say at least two times because many important and i should say very important topics has been covered in this section on tectud which will be very helpful for you okay now <coughs> two other things are uh, also very important i would like to mention so i'll write it here so one is uh, do not try any test in last 3 days okay so right now you have around 10 uh, 9 days left so right now you can try but if it is last 3 days during these last 3 days i strongly recommend don't try any test okay don't try any test it's not going to help you okay so do not try do not try to learn anything new or anything which you have left so far okay so let's say uh, uh, you have left a topic in mathematics okay or you left memory management uh, in operating system now if you have covered so many things and you are confident you are thinking you have 3 days remaining and you would like to cover this memory management management thing i would seriously not suggest to do it because of course you can do it there is a chance that you will you will successfully do it but also i should consider the probability if if you stuck in these things you don't get this will create a negative impact on your preparation okay so this is all uh, and final last but not least is eat well stay healthy well so take care of your health during these uh, 10 days so you can see that weather is also changing so you have to take care of your health uh, if you are not healthy of course it will impact you understand it right so it will create impact on your preparation if you are not healthy okay so you have to attend exam with good health okay good health of your mind good health of your uh, body and everything okay so this is all uh, i wanted to talk uh, nothing much and most of them are obvious but my my duty is to make sure that you are and we all are on the same page <coughs> and before uh, this gate exam uh, i'll also come up with uh, one more video in which i'll try to cover what are the things you should do before one day before the gate exam and on the day of exam so stay tuned uh, must subscribe to our youtube channel and be active on tech2.com keep asking your doubts
Thanks for watching.